ohana means family and you don't have to be related to be a part of your ohana it's in the heart nobody gets left behind you know this this is got ND on it yeah, yeah. yeah. and got a leprechaun here yeah and got my son's name over here oh yeah. Especially, so when you look at it, yeah. you play well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's always a connection with us in Notre Dame. Yeah. Yeah. Greed followed the footsteps of being kind. When we decided to go to college, Notre Dame was my first choice. He, he just loved the school because I loved the school. <laughs> like father, like son. He majored in aerospace engineering and his social life was involved with helping the Hawaii club. His main aircraft was the EC-130 and they needed a MC-12 pilots so he went to train and then he got deployed to Afghanistan. Unfortunately his first uh, mission that's when it ended. You see it in the movies but you never live it yourself when I had three officers come to my door, that's a vivid imagination that, you know, that I cannot erase from my mind now. Texas State women's golf coach initiated kind of a movement for other women's golf teams to participate in the Folds of Honor program. So have at least one person on each team carry a bag and kind of um, talk about it with people, raise awareness. And I am carrying it for all of this year. It's red, white, and blue. All up the side, it says Captain Reed Nishizuka. Looks pretty sharp. I like it. Words cannot describe how much it means to me to have his name on her golf bag. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. She's okay. such a wonderful person. And she has a lot of traits that Reed had. You know what's so ironic about that? Is that your dad is a clarinet player. <laughs> yeah. Reed was a clarinet player. Really? Was he? And I was, I'm a clarinet player. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so there's funny. a connection. Yeah. I told her the story about the clarinet playing. She couldn't believe it. And all of her teammates didn't even know that she was a clarinet player and first seat also. I was first chair. Yeah. 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 Everybody learned a new thing right there. Can you tell us a little more about Reed and yeah. what kind of person he was? His claim to fame was, he always said, if you had to choose from being right or being kind, choose kind. Because he left before me, you have to follow that footsteps and be the way he was. And ironically, there was a Notre Dame Air Force hockey game lined up. And there was a USC and Notre Dame game also lined up for the same weekend. It's going to be interesting to watch Air Force and uh, Notre Dame play. Yeah. Bring, your <laughs> Bring two caps. No. Yeah. <laughs> Today is a good, good day. For them to be just so like gracious and forward thinking and so positive was really inspiring. They really embody the positivity that they talk about with Reed. Yeah, when I met Maris, 
Alohi and Myron, oh, I can still picture them walking up to us because, you know, when we approach them, they approach us with utmost respect and they call me uncle and they call Noreen auntie. Thank you, uncle. Appreciate it. You know, we don't know each other as a first time meeting. It's just, it's just a normal thing back home. Just kind of sets the relationship already made. That was something to behold. That was a nice surprise. We, we appreciate that a lot. It meant a lot for me that I had the opportunity to meet both of them. You know, it just makes you appreciate we're not living for free, you know. We're not living just because if we're here today. You know, there's people fighting for our freedom. When they mentioned that there were going to be a flyover, when it happened, we noticed that it was the exact same plane that Reed piloted. And it just brought back so much memories because we actually had an experience in Nellis seeing Reed in the cockpit coming in for a landing. And it just brought me that image once again and uh, can't never forget it. During the message after the first quarter, I looked up and I noticed that Myron was speaking and he was talking about the Ohana. Ohana in the Hawaiian culture means family. And family means nobody left behind or forgotten. And anytime I see my son, it brings back so much memories. But when I see uh, the crowd respond to our loss, and what it means uh, to serve for the country. It's, it's an incredible experience. I knew they were proud of their son, but that loss was there. And being on the field in front of 80,000 people was so powerful, but I think in that moment, it was just them. It was just them and Reed. That's, that's the aloha sign. And aloha means hello as well as goodbye. And that's how we embrace everybody that visits Hawaii with aloha. And one of the only ways I could think of honoring, you know, just the, like, just the Hawaiian culture, just throwing up the shaka, you know, knowing that there's people from out here who are also from the island who, who just send their love. I think when we did the shaka sign, it brought him to the stadium because the next drive, they scored seven points. And Book throwing on the cross. It is Komet in his end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. At the end of the game, we went to every airman and shake their hand and thank them for the service. And during the alma mater, the Air Force personnel kind of waved us into their group. And we kind of like, you know, held each other and just swung back and forth with the alma mater. We're all one. There's no you and I, it's us. We have a new Ohana today because of this weekend. I think that's just what I love about Notre Dame. Honestly, from day one, it's been a community. The Notre Dame family is real. You know, it's not just like um, an ad or some words on a paper. It's just, is there something different about Notre Dame that like makes people connect even more, that only the people who went there can understand. Notre Dame is just so incredible. Yeah. Words cannot describe how we feel. This whole experience has really made me all the more proud of my country. And you know, like from here out, like my whole life, I will be thinking of Reed when National Anthem plays and Ricky and Noreen. I told Mia that I'll be following her footsteps and watching every tournament to see how she does. I would, I would love for that relationship to continue on for the rest of our lives. It's an honor to hold that bag. Every time I walk off the putting green now and I look at his name, I look at that bag, I look at the colors, I'm gonna think of Ricky and Noreen. I'm gonna think about this weekend. I'm gonna think about Reed and like the stories they told me about who Reed was and his positivity. It brings back a lot of memories. There's no better feeling to be around where he used to be. Yeah.